This is Dragon Blogger here to show you how to add a static iframe tab to your Facebook fan page. One of the reasons why I want to add an iframe page to my Facebook for DragonBlogger.com is I want to showcase one of my raffle copter giveaways directly from my fan page without a reader having to go to the site. So it'd be really nice to embed the entire widget for a raffle copter giveaway, like my video came giveaway from DragonBlogger.com, right on my fan page. This will show you how to do that. Although you can use the uh, static iframe tab to do anything, not just Rafflecopter giveaways. You can iframe pretty much any HTML page into your Facebook fan page. To get started, do a search in the apps for static iframe tab and go ahead and click on go to application. Here you'll see about the application and click on install page tab. Choose which page you want to install the application on. In the case, I'll choose my Dragon Blogger uh, page and click add static iframe tab. Once it's installed on your page, then what you're going to want to do is click on go to your actual fan page. You're going to want to click on the down tick next to your um, widgets, and then you should see the HTML tab. All you have to do is click on the edit button for it, then click on edit settings. Here you can set the custom tab name first. We'll do hop hog giveaway for this one. We could set a uh, image tab, uh, you know, for the picture. So for here, we'll upload an image for my hop hog giveaway, and we'll choose this one. Sometimes I notice that the image doesn't always take; it needs you to do it twice. For some reason I had to do it a few times. I think there's a little bit of a bug in the app, but after doing it a few times it finally loads the right picture. It's kind of weird. I've seen that with other iframe tabs and I can't figure out why it actually does that occasionally, but it, it just goes away when you try selecting the image a few times. So now you're ready to edit your uh, static iframe tab and put in the actual iframe code. So you're going to click on it, you're going to authorize the tab application, allow it, and then you're going to be given the customization information. You're going to want to enable the timeline mode because it is on timeline now, provided you change your Facebook fan page to timeline. You're going to choose a new tab image. Um, it gives you the pixel sizes so you have an image uh, ready for you. But again, we already have the image set, so I don't have to worry about that at the moment. You can actually show uh, a tab at the bottom if you want, which is like your default fan page information. There's also a bug workaround for fan page gating. This is when a non-fan hits your page and they click on like and they're sent away from the page. This will enable them to basically go to the same page they were on when they click the like button. So you might as well go ahead and enable that. And then finally you have the page source. Here you can actually set in which HTML you want it to read in. If you have an exact page on your blog you want it to read in, this is the easiest way to do it. Just simply put in the URL and it'll read in the entire page from your blog. You can hide the scroll bars and everything. You could do a redirect where it'll force the user who visits your page to redirect to your blog. This is another option as well. Really useful because it sends them to your actual blog site without actually iframing everything in Facebook. If you want the clicks on your blog, you want the visits, the redirect is a really cool way to get people to go right to your site. You could just insert an image so that it's basically an image or simply the HTML of the Rafflecopter widget. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to input the HTML for the Rafflecopter widget. In this case, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Rafflecopter, you're going to select your contest, you're going to select embed, and you're going to make sure you click on the Facebook. Really anything will work, but you might as well use the Facebook. I found some uh, inconsistencies with the other ones. Click on copy the code and then what you're going to want to do is just paste the code in there and you're going to want to see if this for a non-fan page what do you want them to see. You can have them see the same thing if you want if they're a non-fan basically that way when they like Rafflecopter will tell them to sign in as Facebook anyway and then do you want friend gate to be on uh, the friend gate uh, you can have that off because they don't have to be friends to see it. Uh, form gate is for input forms to access your content. I don't need that right now. And then I'm not going to do a custom tab icon. Click on save settings. And now you can go test your page. 
go over to my page and then look at my hot pod giveaway and you can see my rafflecopter giveaway is embedded right there the trick here is that because I'm signed in as my page I can't actually see it so watch what happens if I visit my own fan page as myself I visit my fan page as myself and then see the the giveaway contest you'll see it shows that I'm logged in and I can enter you know as any other Facebook user so this is one way you can embed raffle copter contests right into your Facebook fan page you can embed other iframe code you can the good way to do this is if you want people to sign up for your mailing list after configuring your tab and letting it soak for a little while one of the things I like about the tab is you can get statistics on your tab showing you how many fans and how many non fans actually visit your page this is a really good way to show what uh, HTML pages are successful and draw a lot of traffic based on the image, obviously what you put on the page. Giveaways and contests should draw in a lot of traffic and that's what I'm hoping with my video game giveaways and my tech gadget giveaways and things like that. I'm trying to draw attention to the Facebook fan page, trying to bring people into the page as well as showcase the site itself. So what I may do is I may end up mixing some that do redirect to the site, some they can join right to the fan page uh, and various things like that. Mailing list right now is not a priority for me because I'm a portal blog and my, my topics cover so many items. But if you're a blogger who sells affiliate products or, or markets to a specific niche, you're going to want to put a mailing list iframe tab on your Facebook fan page for sure because you're going to want to give people the option to instantly join your mailing list, get updates. I'll probably add one at the end of the week, but I'm not going to add one right now. You can also can export your stats for the past 90 days, which is a really nice feature. This is all from this free Facebook app, which is really cool for adding static iframes to your website. This has been a Dragon Blogger video tutorial for adding iframes to your Facebook fan page and specifically focusing on the Rafflecopter widget. Thank you for watching.